let her know that it's not the earphones. We're in business. I can yell and scream all day for fuck's sakes. Call me now for a free bumble clock reading. Okay, where were we, boy? Pennsylvania. Yeah, you can find everything you need out there in Pennsylvania. The old farmstead. You can find yourself a nice-looking building. What got some sort of antenna on the top there. And it's the old academy. Right up the street from the old brick church here. Down the walkway from the old Brownsville Bridge. Just up the street now from the old city hall. Hop, skip, and a jump away from that old cotton mill. Which itself is a caddy corner to the uh, old custom sack. Up the street from the old hotel which was owned by the same feller that ran the old mill. The one right there on that old mill road, across that old mill bridge, by the old red barn, near the old stone jail, by the old trap church, next to the old U.S. Mint. We stop and pause at the ridiculous nature of this building. Horse-drawn trolleys. This should never have been a thing. Phoenicians everywhere. And uh, what a riotous event. Anyway, where were we? Oh, that's right. We were over there on the Susquehanna near Danville. Now, I wasn't just being a jackass. All those places literally had old in the title. So, you can take that old criticism and park it right up the old don't give a bleep river where there hopefully ain't no paddles. And this particular stretch of buildings looks rather dumpy. Um, hmm. Now, I'm no architect or engineer by any means, but I do believe that this here building is unsound. I'm going on break. Job well done. And even the imitations of the old style are really, really cool looking. A lot better than just bah. This is, but this is what today's architecture looks like. Good job, I think. And then two years later, it's like that. It's broken. Does anyone know how to fix this? No. Well, I guess I'll just buy a new one. Looking at you, printers. Wow. And what has to be the world's skinniest building. You thought the middle seat in the airplane was bad. Try being middle building here on uh, Art Street. By God. This will be your apartment, sir. I can consists of one door, one very narrow hallway, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, I have to turn around and leave now because there's no room for two people to walk abreast of each other. What a strange, what a strange building. I mean, it might not even be building. I don't know. I didn't do my research, okay, guys? I mean, like, they're just going to be there for the weekend. Like, hey, guys, Halloween store. Check it out. Come on down. Pasta. We got a roof made of tarps or whatever. No, Bill and Ollie, we're just sitting here. They must have got a boy inside when the scene's coming. They're getting all antisocial lately. <sighs> Eagle. No, nope. try again. Phoenix. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Well, we have two winners. One is whoever managed to get this here hoisted and positioned with just one beam. Well done. Well done. Looks like a magic trick. Hmm. You know, 10 upper windows is good. 11? Fuck that. Break it up. I feel the same way about the bottom. Life is like, let's say it was a tile store. One unlucky guy who comes in that day is going to be, uh, hey, Rupert, come over here. Hey, buddy, today you're not going to be uh, doing tile on the floor, okay? Today you're going to be uh, piling up these concrete blocks and put them in this window. And he's like, fuck. <laughs> That's a job I've ever had. It's like, hey, bud, I, I know you're uh, the only bartender on, but come out here. Uh, I need you to uh, construct this Ikea cabinet back here for the office. So I've been you, Rupert, and all the Ruperts out there. Your labor's not in vain. For one day, there will come a time. One day, there will be a man who goes through the old surveys, one frustrating page at a time, and he commends you for your work. And though you may not know it, though you may be long gone, though your ancestors themselves may be buried in the same dust as your children and grandchildren, though no one may ever speak of it to anyone that you've ever known or had the chance to meet, yet I assure you, Rupert, and all the Ruperts, one day, your name will be shouted out from the heavens. It may not be your real name. It may be fabricated. The event may not be based on anything truthful, but you will be remembered. Thus is the glory of the historic American Building Service. Thank you. Pull up the ladder, Jim. No girls allowed. She's coming. I feel as if if any more percentage of this, or if any more percentage of this video grows stupid, I have to change it from education. Do I want to do that? Ooh, labels, you know? <laughs> it's like, you know, what kind of music do you like? I don't know, like, uh, you know, like indie, synth, rock, classical, violin, banjo, singer stuff? I like everything. Oh, yeah, you like country? Fuck that. Okay, uh, house? Ugh. You've already ruled yourself out of everything. You're weird. Yeah, well, uh, takes one and takes one to know one, I guess. I don't know. Oh, no, the Nickel Arcade closed, dude. I'll never get to be that Simpsons Arcade. Fuck, it was my turn to be Marge, too. She's mean with that vacuum cleaner, dude. Ooh. Ooh, what a nice, gorgeous looking building here. What a joy. What a wonder to behold. Look at this guy. Look at that car. Look at the door. Look at the whole damn thing. It's just gorgeous. How much you want for it? It's not for sale. It's for demolition. It's an old high school. Oh, it's beautiful. You're damn sure it is. There won't be buildings ever like it again. 
If you're through here, move along. The wrecking ball's coming. I have a paycheck to absorb into my bank account. And they told me to do this. And so I'll do it without question. That's how it works. That's how gaslighting works. That's how it all works. See, that's the trick to gaslight. And let me stop here before I go off on some well-informed and no doubt highly interesting tangent. Look at this building. Just look at it. I mean, this is great. It doesn't look out of place at all next to this one. It looks like it belongs in Narnia. And it is, of course, the he said, completely forgetting about his tangent from a moments before. And we are out here on the streets of Philadelphia. This is the insurance company building. Unity! Indemnity! And this uh, beautiful little suspect that probably ran three stories at one point, back in its salad years when everything was green. This is the uh, another insurance company. And another insurance company complete with Phoenician logo. It's almost as if... Hold on a sec. Oh, I had something. No. Oh, something about elites and, like, rackets and good old scams and good old boys clubs and I don't remember. This here is the Pennsylvania Furnace. Oh, I love the furnace! I wasn't done. Iron Masters. Oh, wait, I want to see the Iron Masters! I wasn't done. Privy. Oh, it's a it's a bathroom. Here's the furnace, dummy. As <laughs> if you couldn't tell. This is almost as bad as the Hohokama ovens that are just literally a pile of river rocks. Unsullied and unsooted. How dumb do you think we are, America? You think we fall for this stuff? Because we do. This is the uh, beautiful Hospital for the Insane. And no, I'm not kidding. Now, I don't know if they were just actually like, you know, upstanding citizens that were just like locked. The door, the door locks were changed. So they were locked in. It was like, y'all stay in there because y'all crazy. But no doubt there was uh, sinister things. Uh, not very science-following or God-fearing things happening um, to the people that were suspected or accused of being slightly mentally ill. I have no doubt that there would have been a time, had I not been who I am tonight, had I not been this uh, poorly John F. Kennedy imitating person behind this here microphone, I would most likely find myself behind the bars of these here institutes, but not this one, because this is the Institute uh, for the Blind. Whatever that is in the background, good golly. I want to do whatever that guy's doing. What are you guys doing? You know what? Change your plans. The old Pennsylvania Railroad. Now, this looks like the same sketchy five or six guys that seem to be following me around everywhere. You guys were at the Civil War, and you guys were at your anywhere that there just needs to be some sort of narrative sold. It's like, hey, we'll follow him down there, boy, and make sure he stays in line. Yeah, well, apparently I'm still in line, aren't I? Speaking of lines, would you cross this line right here and see, what, see what's going to happen to you, dude? You're you freaking messed up, dude. Mess up your freaking pizza faces. Man. Um. <laughs> Catherine, come outside. <laughs> She's totally going to fucking eat shit when she comes out here. We took the stairs away. <laughs> Catherine! And hurry, hurry, hurry. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen to the most annoyingly ridiculous railway terminal of all time. Yes, it's true that the trains are on the bottom floor. Yes, it's true this is a 10-story building. Yes, it's true. I don't know why. And here we go with the, uh, what are you guys doing? I mean, kind of, kind of looks like you guys are, you guys turn this down or, or what, dude? Because it's really beautiful still. And, uh, holy shit, is that where a tree was? No, couldn't be. I mean, it could. What's back there? This is this at the building that turned into a parking garage? What is wrong with Pennsylvania? Oh, that that old dumpy thing? Yeah, we're getting rid of that. Oh, and that completely unique building composed of all sorts of sloping arches and layered bricks. Oh yeah, the one with all that classical motifs all on the outside. Yeah, that thing's stupid. We're turning that into a parking garage. Now, if you excuse me, I'm late for bingo. Whoa, look at these amazing columns. Wait, how often do you see a freeway overpass or a bridge held up like that? That's super cool. I can just hear the echo of the road underneath there. I like that sound. That clap, 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 clap. Crap, 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 crap. As cars come over the panels and they broken California roads, and you think to yourself, ah, that emptiness, that is the sound of all the things that my taxpayer money has gone to. It's full. It's full of such emptiness. This is I might have to delete this, guys. And you'll never know it existed. No, oh, I can't do that. No, no. I am uncensored and uncut. And we will keep on keeping on. One gets a sense. Nice. What is it? 
Oh, oh, right, this is my channel, I'm supposed to tell you. All right, right here, what you're looking at is the Pennsylvania Railroad Bridge that crosses the... Oh, I'm sorry if I mispronounce it, I'm French sometimes. And that's an incredible feat, and I repeat, an incredible feat, and I repeat, an incredible feat, and I repeat. Interesting. Pennsylvania got that bridge game on fleet. Yes, sir. What happened to that one? Oh, we miscounted, actually. The team... Did everyone get their teammate? Okay, yeah, I guess we're one extra, so Jimmy, sorry you can't play this. Form up, dudes. And Brandon stared through his binoculars. Just kidding. <laughs> we can tunnel you guys over it. Like a bridge over Pennsylvania waters, you can tell the old from the new. There's an old charm in an old bridge, said the old guy. Wow. The old Pennsylvania turnpike. And so they set off. The three large dwarves and then the tiny dwarf as well had his own entrance. Excuse me there. Excuse me, sir. Sorry to bother, but do you know where I can find the land of Gondor? What, dude? You can just tell that guy walks awkwardly. Like, like a doofus. That's right, folks. Do you see how incredibly brave I am calling out people from photographs from 80 years ago? <laughs> you know, just telling them right to their face. Defend yourself, why don't you? And they would. But it happened in the past. Oh, God, I gotta take this, dude. It's uh, Joe Biden. See how cool and popular I am? I have friends. Actually, they're my nephews. And I think they're just trying to sell me stuff. <laughs> I have nothing. And I'm gonna have even less after th this video gets released. They're gonna say, this guy's gone off his rocker. Have I, though? You know what's off his rocker? This fucking dynamo. Jiminy. This is like that house on the hill that stood there for centuries. Enchanted, charming, and full of such mystery. Stones left unturned uh <laughs> institute for black ministries hmm wonder how the church got that well i'm sure they built it well they should have handed down some of their knowledge or pro tips and building to guys like this you know that'd be nice if you really did build it why don't you help a brother out black rock tunnel i trust nothing with black rock in its name ever since the accident and i wonder what this is, is this like a composite or where they melt this stuff or what is it just some spray that they put over it to, i don't know you know or maybe it's inside a monster's mouth I can star ride. More bridges than a man could ever hope to remember. And this being more one of the more grandiose of the tunnel entrances. Whoa, dude. It's like it morphed. Let's see. This is that Philadelphia Reading Railroad. And this is that Philadelphia Reading Railroad Mill Creek Bridge. Whoa, that's an old world mother. And this is where bridges collide. Hmm. I think I'll take the one on the left, Jimmy. Ah, yes. The old brick model. Yes, of course. Uh, before you make your decision up, I might I suggest one of these sort of layered, threaded looking brick masterpieces here. Oh, yes. It's got your goat, I see. Well, as it should. We don't break bridges like that anymore. Oh, we would. But uh, we destroyed the technology a long time ago, and we can't we can't do it again. It's a pain in the butt. I'm just, I'm just kidding. That's what NASA says about the moon. We'd have to ask NASA. I don't know. And there it is. The old bridge, decimated, bereft of all glory, stood and faced its shiny new white successor as they squared off for battle. Dun, 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 dun. The narrator changed the picture. Bridges you got, you know? You just never know. After all, they all start to lose meaning. Like the word moo. See? It doesn't mean anything anymore, dude. It's messed up. And here's what you'll be saying. Mom! Hey, Mom, can you hear me some toilet paper? Whoa! Well, I'll be damned. City Hall! For all your City Hall needs. And isn't that just an amazing photograph looking from another... I mean, you think about all the crap and dumpy buildings we've seen, and then this is just in the heart of town. Like... It's like looking through a time stargate at a different civilization. Fuck, I want to live there instead of where we live. Not Pennsylvania, I mean. That that magical place. Pennsylvania looks like a shithole. And I say that with all due respect for all Pennsylvanians. This is the first one, huh? The first place. Wrapped up like, like the fascies. Looks like fascies here. And uh, the old Phoenician. And uh, yeah, this building is uh, beyond creepy. I'm sure you want to go back into it. Oh, I left my keys here 20 years ago. This must be a view from the county prison. Better be looking out then in. That's what I always say. The Philadelphia Exchange Company. This amazing building. And no doubt, someone stands up here and does something important. And that's why it's here. I don't know. You explain to me why it's in the budget, Leroy. You do it. Dutch boy paints. Tomorrow. Uh, do you guys have anything that's booting free? No, not gluten. I said booting. I like booting my fist in your mouth. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. And we've looked at some things here. I've given literally no good commentary. I've just made an absolute ass of myself the best 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah. 
The sun will come up tomorrow. Don't mind me, just going on to the store and <laughs> pardon my dust. General Green. And another very, very curious building. My God. And you can see the foundation down here. I mean, so look at that. I mean, even a building of this size, you just wouldn't build it on a hill. If this was a hill, I highly doubt you'd start building this on a hill. You wouldn't build it so it was crooked like this. It's just amazing. And then you got your buildings that, like your buildings that look like this. This is just, this is clearly just a slab with like a little frame on top. I mean, this looks like it'd get blown over, you know, <laughs> by a big bad wolf. Oh, how brave. How romantic. Look well, here. I showed the whole world here with the douchebag. <laughs> Aren't you proud? <laughs> Sundries. I like that word. I like it was reality theater. <laughs> the reality is nothing. There ain't no tickets. There might be Pepsi. That's all you'll get for wasting your time coming out here. And many a dilapidated barn have we visited here in old Pennsylvania. Many a caved-in roof have we seen here in old Pennsylvania. I don't think I've ever seen a place with more overgrown, abandoned, or demolished structures. I really don't. This is part of the Red Rock Falls, the old Reed Mansion. But it is right next door to a massive church. Unless this is a different house. And in that case, this would be in store to the castle that's passing off as a church. Yet we again we have another quite remarkable building that belongs to an insurance company. It's amazing, isn't it? Some of these photographs look to be taken later, like in the 70s, but still no shortage of bombed out or depleted buildings. This is out by the Revlock Mine. I think they're just saying the whole neighborhood's historic. <laughs> you know, lazy way to do that. Just go up on a hill and take a picture of the whole neighborhood. That'll work. And what were all these old big buildings? This is where the Revlock Mine boiler was. Allegedly. We are told this would be the wash house and quite a property. And just a window underneath every window underneath every window underneath every window underneath. This one's a little offset. That's a little weird. Wish I could get closer. You could sit here and count the bricks. It'd be one building, you'd be like thousands of them. And there are tens of thousands of buildings. It's just that, it's amazing. So hard to wrap your mind around. This is the old Redodden Drawn Walk, where they say, The ghost of Matinee still haunts this area. Shut up and get over here. I was just kidding, God. It's not a ghost. It's my freaking girlfriend, dog. Just get off my freaking bud. Uh, excuse me, sir. You're kind of ruining the money shot here. Hmm. You got one here, and then you got one down there, and just, I just wonder, just wonder which one was, like, trying to keep this church a secret, or did it sort of just sink down there, or hell? <laughs> so many mysteries in this here Pennsylvania. Gather around. That's a hell of a hat, sir. Bunch of damn ghosts clubbering around. Oh, okay, it took me a second to figure out what that was. I was like, is that a submarine hiding under there? But it's just where the ice is broken, because this is all frozen. <laughs> and it really looks startlingly familiar to the time that I once fell through the ice that looked remarkably similar to this. And that's when I learned why people drown in frozen water. You know, you think you just could just, you're like, why don't you just swim right out? That's not what happens. What happens is it's so cold. If it's anything like my experience, body crumples up in cramps like a pretzel, like a spider just bent backwards and crumples in on itself. And it's, uh, and as you're sinking to the floor of the pond, you're, you're going, oh, Eureka. Well, that's why people drown. <laughs> Basically, I did drag my pretzel legs up and out. And yeah, it was so cold that I actually took my clothes off because I'd rather be nude in the snow than wearing wet frozen clothes. It was a harrowing experience, America. And I don't ever recommend it for anyone, unless there's some sort of prize at the end of it, which for me, there was nothing. Just a tiny, shriveled freaking wiener and the fear of gangrene or frost frostbitten limbs. Hell, I was afraid that my penis was gonna get frostbite. And thank you for making me dig up that horrible memory. <sighs> How dare you? you know, it's like you feed off that stuff. It's so rude. Anyway, I'm not afraid to be vulnerable on here. If that, <laughs> if that's a, uh, if that makes me sort of save some face. General Custer, is that you? God damn, I thought you died a little big horn. Get down here and give me a squidge. Old World Bridges. They're, what are they called, the banisters? Unmistakable. Oh, you, this, oh, you can't see. This is where we're going to put a puppet show later. The question is... Is there a house that doesn't have a basement in Pennsylvania? I don't think there is. All this stone, deconstructing or reconstructing? Looks like they are. I don't know. These actually look like they've been taken from something. They still look like they have like mortar or something on some of them. So yeah, let's say reconstructed. Or maybe repurposed. Could be. It could be America. Oh, one of the more reasonable post offices here. And uh, yeah, this guy looks, uh, he's seen some better days, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we? This is all, this is an iron and coal company machine shop, of course. Left to rot. This is, of course, the same company's mule barn. It's amazing how many of these have just been walked away from. The bank sucks, man. These banks, I mean, it goes out the same. Bank, these banks are fucking whack. If places go bankrupt and the bank owns them, then can go clean them up. 
up. If you guys don't make enough money ripping people off and literally raping people. Bankers are the worst scumbag. Yeah, I said it. If you're a banker, F you. For real. If you think you're, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not like that. I'm one of the good guys. You're lying to yourself. You're a scumbag. Don't be stupid. You know, in a lot of ways, I feel like the acceptance of some of these deceptions we've been sold, I feel like it re runs into such resistance, not only because so many people are just brainwashed and don't want to challenge their worldview, but they actually would feel like their little pride and their little ego is threatened. Because, no, like, how could just you, just you, just a regular person figure it out? Yeah, no, no, no. That's ridiculous. People can't be wrong for hundreds of years. Oh, they can? Then the next breath you're gonna tell me about for years, they used to put leeches on people and bleed them. What idiots! Or you know, list some ridiculous barbaric custom or whatever. You have no problem buying that. People did ridiculous things compared to what we know now in the fields of science or whatever it is, astronomy. or And we laugh at them. And we think, what fools? As if we are hitting some peak. As if we've, as if we've hit some, pe some ceiling of advancement. The same people will tell you, we only use like 2% of our brains and uh, in the future, we're going to be able to download our realities and it's like okay so which is it are we at the top no but we're not at the bottom okay so there's room to grow so that means there must be some there might be some things that we're wrong about right like there might be some things that collectively we're all wrong about right so why couldn't it be this like why and i think it's because it's the ego thing because some of it's so blatantly obvious that it's like well wow that really looks obvious you know it really does look like we we don't have an explanation on why you know certain things are the way they are no we don't can anyone demonstrate us building this with the tools that we're told to have? Demonstrate it. Get the block, get the pulleys, get the technology of the day, the steam shovels, whatever, and duplicate this with the same conformity and the same standards of excellence. They can't do it. Not that they won't. They can't. Which means that we didn't. Which means, I don't care if it makes you feel stupid. Get over it. Who, why would anyone be afraid of being wrong? Like, why? Weren't you wrong like half your life as a baby and as a child and as a young adult and as a dummy? I mean, what, what is the, what is the, do you hate, do you hate people, do you scorn people for being wrong? Like, in you know, your daily life, do you mock your children when they get something wrong? Or even when your children are grown up, do you mock them when they get things wrong? Especially if everyone around them believes it. Uh, who's left to make fun of you? And here we are. Yeah. This, this looks like exactly Exactly what I would expect in Pennsylvania. If Pennsylvania were in Russia, this looking, this old antenna, which is exactly what that is. Snap this piece off, this piece off, snap this piece off, and you got yourself a cross. Why a cross? Oh, well, uh, well, uh, well, let me tell you why. And that's how stories are born. That's how it's done. Little bit of trickery. And it's done so much that when you see the original one, you think, yeah, well, that too is a cross. Even though it ain't no damn cross. But the legend has been sold so hard that you're willing to actually say, I'm not one to bash on any religion. I think there's truth in many of the holy books. I think the, these are many times divinely inspired documents. But there are certain things that just are kind of like little signs that the Bible's been tampered with. Like, you know, the whole Jesus is going to go in the temple and kick everything out up in the banker's tables and all that. But yet then he's going to turn around and say, don't forget to pay your taxes. Give to Caesar what's his. Wow, they, they certainly shoehorned that in there. Reminds me of Dale Carnegie guy. Oh, so benevolent. Oh, these free buildings that he just repurposed and gave back. And he had made them millions and billions and billions. And then what did he do? Oh, when he died, he gifted it all back to the people and said, the most important thing you can do is pay your taxes. Like what a absolute crock of shit. So yeah, these things have all been tampered with. Everything's been tampered with. Not saying you can't salva find salvation in it. Not saying that there's not anything true about it. But if you think that for some reason, your holy book, the one that you believe in, the one that you have to be born and raised into, is the only one. And you just lucked out. And everyone else around the world, is, and for all of existence, is going to go to hell because they didn't happen to be born where you were. Then I feel like there's a sense, a little bit of delusion maybe going on there. And I'm not saying that that's, you can't get to heaven that way or you can't reach salvation or... I'm not saying that at all. Life is about intent, in my mind. And most of the people who believe in a faith and, and uphold the standards of it, their you know they their intentions are are primarily pure. The grifters, the fakers, the false prophets, the hypocrites. Man, they know who they are. Here we go. Let's see what they say about this bullshit. The Church of the Evangelist was established as a mission in 1837 for the benefit of the Pope. I'm assuming it's a tribe. Founded by William Welsh. Hmm. We got a cartoon name. An influential churchman. In 1837, they built a church in the. 
precinct known as Mo Habanero, and in 1889 it was consecrated as the Church of the Evangelists. The bell tower was spared from demolition. Oh, just casually mentioning a demolition that happened uh, four years prior in 1884. Does that make sense? Dr. Percival, the man who tore it down, had traveled extensively in Italy, where he visited and was influenced by many Romanesque Basilican churches. For his new church, he directed the architects according to his own taste. Imagine that. He just went to Italy and then came back and he knew. He just knew how to make something like this. Just, I looked at it. Sure. Frank Furness, one of the biggest frauds in architecture. If even existed. But we'll get into that later. Oh yeah, folks. You didn't think I just came skipping in here and just like started throwing words around and like looking at pictures and just shooting shit down without doing my research, did you? I looked at every freaking architect I possibly could. I studied their lives, their backstory. Yeah, this is the tip of the iceberg, man. I know I come through here joking around and poking fun and stuff, but that's just that's just who I am. That's just my nature. This is dry material, really. It really I mean, it really is dry material. You look at a historical American building survey, burr, 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 you know, volume eight. It just sounds like, oh, uh, God. But inside of this dry material, A, there is a lot of history and depth, that stuff that needs to be looked at, in my mind. And I just can't help making a joke of life anyway. If things get too serious. But don't let that fool you that. I have just saw a couple of videos and thought, yeah, they're goddamn right. <laughs> it took me a long time to, look, I was a history buff too, and it took me a long time to, the realization was like, what the hell, you mean all these books I've been reading, all, all this history I've been absorbing, trying to learn about the world, it was all bullshit. And really, it's, it's impossible to distinguish between the bullshit and reality, which that's the most difficult part. It's not like someone hands you a new set of books and says, hey, ignore that old shit, this is actually how it went down. It's like someone just took those books away and said, well, you can have them if you want, I mean, whatever, but like, it's all trash. And I don't have anything to replace it with. You gotta go out and figure it out for yourself. That's disappointing in a lot of ways. Because what it means is, I'll never know. No one will ever know the truth. I'm not gonna convince myself that I picked a bunch of scattered remains and put it all together. And I, I, I suddenly have the answers. No, I don't. I'm one voice in the choir. I'm just trying to get the choir bigger. I'm trying to get everybody in on it, first of all, to figure out who the fuck's lying to us and get them out of the way. So then we could, you know, we could piece it together and start living the way we should. I'm not of the idea that, but a lot of this stuff is really common sense. If just, you just need to stop and think about it. This canal, for example. If you saw this in England or Ireland, you'd be like, that looks like it's from like 1200, but you see it in Pennsylvania. And you can't say that, can you? You can't. You can say it maybe 200 years old, maybe. But even then, it starts to really get a little sketchy because then you talk about the length of these things and the depth of them and the, and the efficacy of them and how many they are crisscrossing the country and then the short amount of time that they were in use. It doesn't make sense. The amount of people it would have taken to construct all of these buildings in this style that no one really seems to give a shit about anymore. And nobody really seemed to care about then. They're all so happy to get out of their situations. And a golden opportunity of America where you can literally start with nothing and end up with and retire at a relatively young age with a pension or a paid off mortgage and start a family and all that. And that was the trap. And then usher in phase two. Create a massive cash cow and then rob it blind completely. And that's kind of where we're at, the tail end of that. Where we were used to do horrible things around the world, and we didn't know it. They told us we were doing all these great things. Now, the Reaper's coming to call. And is America going to stand up and say, no, that's not us? These people don't represent us and make and make right by the world? Or are we just going to sit back and watch and just be like... And by, by non-action, basically co-sign what they're doing at best. At worst, let these clowns drag us into war. And then when they run off and we get the brunt of it and get completely annihilated. Uh, I don't know. Which one? Which one? I'd like the Constitution. And the people here are not represented by their government. Maybe a handful of deluded people in some of these big cities who, who just literally being brainwashed they're just being jerked off and told yeah trust me i got your back meanwhile the other hand's in your back pocket and they just don't see it yet they will the majority of the country is not about it nobody wants war nobody has any problem with any with russia only the clowns on reddit they get whipped up into a frenzy they don't have to think for themselves and they trust the authority still when that trust get, eventually goes away they're gonna look inside themselves and find out i don't really hate anybody <laughs> They're just like people all over the world. And that's what America was, right? People from all over the world. It's not a bunch of white racists. What the hell are they even talking about? They're just trying to divide us, which goes against our very name. And if we can't pull it together and be, actually live up to the name, there's still a chance, I believe. And I guess I've stopped scrolling, probably because I can't get over how ridiculous this princess castle is here. <laughs> 
Who lives there, Mommy? Oh, the gumdrop princess. She only descends upon the streets once a year. She waves a magic wand, and that lucky little boy gets taken up there into a room where no doubt amazing things happen involving candy and sexy times. <laughs> Actually, it's not so much a little boy, it's a man. But still, you know, the, the story's... It, it, she's a good... She's on the good guy's team. She's. On, I'm going to go ahead and skip, uh, skip this uh, in particular. I think this is absolutely astounding. This should be... I mean, if you saw this in France, you wouldn't even be... You wouldn't be surprised. In Pennsylvania, very weird, very weird, amazing. No, ch no chance that they built this. I doubt they could even destroy this if they tried. This is incredible. I'm gonna leave on this note, and especially because this one looks like it has a little witch's hat on it. How cute! <laughs> Have a little repurposing, Scarecrow, and your little dog too. Goodbye, y'all. It's been real, and I say to thee, no. Nah. Nah. Nah.